most of you in this room have kids. Or at least been around them enough that you know how quickly time flies. So for the next 14 seconds, I want to stand here in silence. Now, what could you have gotten done in that 14 seconds? For those of you who don't have kids, the answer is probably, well, not much. It was only 14 seconds. To those of us with kids, that was an eternity. As our previous presenter said, when you're on the phone and someone takes 10 seconds to get back to you, it seems like an eternity. When you have 14 seconds without your kids hanging on you trying to get you to do something, and you have 14 seconds to actually get something done, well, that is an eternity. My kids are seven and three. And when you have that time, it's, it's just amazing. Um, my, my son, my youngest, where he's still, still potty training a little bit, so he runs down to the restroom. He goes to the restroom and, Daddy, Daddy, I'm done. Like, no, son, count to 14, because that's the highest number you can count to. He's like, all right, I'm going to start counting. The whole time I'm going, all right. He's been in the restroom, and I have an extra 14 seconds. What can I get done? It's like, ooh, I can get laundry done. I can get dishes done. I can actually just sit in silence for like two straight minutes. Those of you young ones feel my pain. So that is what you can get done. And I have this conversation all the time just about <clears throat> what you can get done with people who don't have kids. I go, I go to massage every three weeks, which by the way, I highly recommend it. It's, it's awesome. But my masseuse doesn't have kids. He's like, Dave, how, how do you get so much done? Like, it's, it's crazy how much you get done in, in your time. I'm like, well, it's because I lived like you before I had kids. You know, and that, that's when you realize, you don't have time. There is no time, because kids take up so much time that that little time you have, you have to make it go and go and go because you're not getting it back. You know, when you're single, oh, yeah, I, have, I have like three hours to get that done, whatever it is. But with kids, it's, man, I got like two minutes. <laughs> what can I get done? I got to go get it. I got to go do it. So, I mean, that's, that's just how you live your life, and it, it's just, it's, it's an amazing challenge. You know, and it's a lot of fun, I absolutely, I mean, I love, I love having my kids. But you just don't have time. So, another time, um, still, not, still in 14 seconds, because it really is all you have. And when you make a mistake, it usually doesn't even take that long for your kids to let you know. So, my wife was outside just hanging out with the kids, kids were in the spa, and it was like, eh, it's too hot, I don't really want to get in, but they want to play. So she's just standing, watching them, making sure that nothing happens. You know, and then she saw a squirrel run across the fence, she's like, I'm like, oh. She turns back around, and there's my son just standing on top of the spa, just urinating out the front. Well, and of, and of course, I mean, I, I knew my windows needed to get clean, but not expecting, you know, that, that kind of uh, kind of shower on that one. But still, I mean, he, he, he couldn't get out of the spa, so I mean, what are you going to do? I mean, usually he was just, hey, hey, mom, <laughs> you need to get me out of here. Yeah, apparently that's not what you do with boys. You just, you just go for it. So I actually wonder if I did that when I was young. You know, did I do something that crazy? I don't think so. We didn't have a spa. But, I mean, like most young kids, you know, I probably was like, ah, it's too far to walk into the, into the house. I'll just go right here in the back corner of the yard. <laughs> and again, you know, oh boy, that's kind of what you do. And then my boss was, I was talking to my boss the other day. Uh, he was talking about, we're talking about going and hiking on Mount Windy. And it's the same thing, like, yeah, there's no real restrooms there. You just sort of have to go. So... But I guess my point is, you just have 14 seconds. Like, we always take time for granted, like how much time we have, how much time we have to do things. And we really don't have that much time. I mean, we look at our parents, you know, how long, our grandparents, how long did they live? And you're like, oh, they lived to 100. I got plenty of time. It's like, no, no you don't, it's really not that long. 
And I think kids is what's really clued me into that fact. You know, you, you don't have that much time. You have to be on the ball. I mean, even if it's on work, you know, oh, I have years to get promoted. No, you don't. You know, if you just want to take one step, sure. But it's like you got to stay diligent. It's because it's so easy. Especially with some people in this room, you know, we're auditors. Which means life is very accountable. You know, we're, we're exceedingly self-starting. Because it's really hard to check what we're doing. You know, if, if I put 40 hours in a case, who's going to know? You know, no, no one's going to know as that case went from 200 to 250 hours or 240 hours. No one's going to know what happened. No one's going to have to worry. So we just have to be accountable to ourselves. You know, and, and again, I mean, kids try to keep me accountable and it helps me continue hard and continue going forward. But, yeah. You only have 14 seconds. Use it wisely. Thank you. Yeah, Mr. Um, Matalo, EG speaker, and David. I love your speech. 14 seconds. Time is something that I can relate to. And almost everybody in here wish you have more time, but they don't get any. Because we all have only 24 hours each day, and we have to make the most of what we have. And David's speech, 14 seconds, the title was so powerful. And I knew that the speech is going to be funny. So I thought the evaluation, I would structure my speech with three things that I like about your speech, two things that I think can make your speech better, and lastly, I will end with the one thing that I will remember for a lifetime about your speech. So three things that I like about your speech was that when you came up here, you're so confident. You have a great vocal variety. Whenever you say something, when you are serious, you slow down, and that projects seriousness. And when you try to be funny, you spoke fast. So that is being humorous. And the third thing that I, that I like about your speech was the use of silence. 14 seconds of silence was powerful. And in those 14 seconds, man, many thoughts came through my mind. So 14 seconds was a long time for me. So something was really powerful. And two things that I think can make your speech better was like when you trying to uh, have some gesture and your hand will turn in the back. So this, this uh, is shown that uh, you have something to hide. So try to be more honest and put your hand out here so you can see them. And lastly, and the second thing that I think can make your speech better is that you should try to slow down and practice more because um, as I can see through your speech, you use some um and ah, and you are trying to think of something to say next. So, you know, practice more and that would uh, help with the flow of the speech. And lastly, the thing that I will remember most about your speech is the silence. The silence is powerful, and I think silence makes most of us uncomfortable, but there's nothing wrong with silence. I think silence is very powerful, and silence with time, that will make a lot of us feel like, ah, I don't need the time, I just need the silence. Mr. Contest Chair. Yeah.